Hello there. I believe you are blessed wherever you are. All right. I would love to say a, a blessed a week in advance. It's Sunday, the first week of the month. I would love to say be blessed wherever you are at home, regardless of the color of the skin. All right. Uh, I know we are still under this siege of this demon of Corona. Let us pray. God shall set us free. God answers prayers. All right. Uh, I would love to go to the point. I've been watching uh, what is happening on social media. Some other things. Uh, it's good as a prophet. You don't talk. Why these people, they are making noise. You start the situation, then you talk. I want to talk about uh, what I'm seeing. I'm, uh, it's a shame that we are still having a lot of Christians. When I was watching on social media, I came across there are people who are still trying to make a money through the death of uh, the legion T.B. Joshua. They are still uh, saying a lot of negative things and a lot of evil things, especially my brother Nigerians. <clears throat> They are the ones that I'm seeing, they are these young boys, uh, they talk things that they don't know. Right, I want to explain his death a bit <clears throat> as a prophet of God. A prophet doesn't die. A prophet comes down for a mission. He is born for a mission. He runs according how God he wants. Then when the mission is completed, God he takes him. We see it in the book of Jeremiah 1 in 5. In your mother's womb I ordained you to be a prophet. Before you were born, I was aware of you. So those are the things that people, they don't understand. Many, they say, I came across that thing. They were saying, ah, he died because of this, others because of that, because of that. But there is one thing that we must learn. Death is death. Regardless whatever happens, all of us were going to die. What killed T.B. Joshua, it doesn't matter. What matters is, did he complete his race? If he didn't complete his race, we may worry. Me, I salute God on his death because he didn't go to hospital, be visited and sleep down and blah, blah, blah. God doesn't allow an embarrassment, special to his own people. God, he took him sitting down. Yes, there may be one, two, three that we're not going to even, as God's people, we're not even allowed by God to open our mouth and say this was happening, this was whatever. It's, it's not our business. A prophet dies, is born a prophet then he dies again a prophet. The race that we are running under the sun, it's having a time frame. When we are running our race, we are having a time frame. And there is a period where you run your race. When you are done, God he calls you. Same applies uh, when we check uh, to the history of all these prophets. They were supposed to complete their race. After that, God detects them. I came across again some other things. They were saying, why was he buried in church? Blah. I, I, I don't think... It matters there because I saw that there were prophets who were saying he wasn't supposed to be buried in church. Others, they were prophesying about it. That's not prophets, that one. 
That's a mind of a human being. There is nothing wrong of him being buried wherever he was buried because at the end, that thing is good for the followers of that congregation. As long they are not going to worship him, I'll be here again. As long they are not going to worship him because he wasn't a god, he was just a prophet like everyone. That one doesn't matter. But what I'm seeing on social media is people, they want to justify his death like it was the wrong thing. I believe he ran his race. He ran his race and finished it. After finishing your race, even I myself, I know I'm still running my race. I have to run my race very carefully. There are two things that makes a prophet to die. One is either you have finished your race. Second, I will mention three. Second, it's either you have departed from giving God's glory, you start giving yourself glory. When you do that, you die. We see Moses when he said, with this stick I will give you water. God became angry. And in the mountain of Nebo there, Moses was buried with a, he was buried with a, 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 was buried by angels. He never entered on the promised land. Third, pride. When you develop pride, you are no longer serving God. You are serving yourself. So, according to how he ran his race, I remember 2013 when he invited me. I refused to go. I believe I'm the maybe I'm the one of, or the or the last again who refused to go and meet him. Not because I didn't want to see him. Nah, I remember I told people I said no. I will go to him when God agrees. We will meet before he finishes his race because I'm still young. I don't want to go now because many people, they were flocking to go there. I said, nah, that's not, that thing is not on my job description. Because my job description, God told me what to do. I, I admire him from far away. We can do this and that like we're having similarities. But at the end, I'm running my own race. So... What made me not to go again is there is this thing of networking in Christianity world that someone will cope what someone is doing and practice it there and someone cope someone is doing and practice there. I believe since God sent me, I was against that. Because when God he prepares a prophet, he gives him the mandate that uh, he, 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 he must uh, he, he do and he gives him guidelines what he's supposed to do and what he's not supposed to do. So I turned that offer down. People in church, they say, no, you're supposed to say, nah, we'll meet if God agrees. But what I'm seeing on social media now, I can see that it's one year more than one year. We're still having a lot of people was still negative. The problem about this generation of ours, we don't fear God. We don't even respect the dead. In the world, the people are not Christians. They respect the dead. But in Christianity world, we don't respect the dead. We want to do whatever as we please. We don't care about the dead. That's the thing that made me to explain what killed him. A TB Joshua. In the book we hear in First King, the sickness that killed that killed a Elijah. There was a sickness that killed. Him. We go again to Samuel. We saw how Samuel died. 
I can mention all these people. It's not a new thing. But witchcraft is, you find Christians sitting down discussing how he died and what happened. That one is witchcraft. Because nowadays in YouTube people they get paid. I never applied for payment from YouTube. But I'm having videos where I'm having a lot of adverts there. I never applied for that money because I didn't enter on YouTube to make money. But because people are evil, they are chasing money. They don't have the fear of God. They just take topics that they are not supposed to use and use them. So I'm saying to the world, special my Nigerian brothers, I don't think it's healthy to continue what you are doing, but we cannot stop you again to talk about T.B. Joshua. But his death, it was because he has completed what he was supposed to do. Same applies to you. You can sit down on YouTube. The problem, you don't know your destination and you don't know why God, what God called you for. Did he call you for something or you don't have a, 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 you are not given an assignment that you are supposed to do under the sun. That's why you find these young boys, they are talking a lot of nonsense on the, on the, on the, on the YouTube and a lot of so-called pastors, they are still bitter at talking a lot of things about him. So I'm saying uh, to you, when you are going to see my video, learn. There are three things that kills prophets. One is either he has completed his journey. Second, or oh, he has departed from the grace. If he departs from the grace, he's not going to last. Why? Because the grace is removed. You see that person dying in a shameful way. That's when you know that God here departed. But on the issue of uh, the legend T.B. Joshua, we saw God covering embarrassment, make him to die as a hero. Die not in hospital or wherever, but there because he was in the hands of God. So I need you to study what you are talking so that you're not going to continue cursing yourselves. You continue, because I know this YouTube, you are making money, you are feeding your families. But at the end, God will come after you. Even those pastors and that whim or that woman, they call him Bisola or whatever. I saw, I came across that she's still bitter. No matter she saved the under TB Joshua. Um, in the early 90s, she's still bitter even today. She tried to bring him down. She wrote even books. Now she continues again. So I don't know how she will make money through the dead person. So I will say to you, three things that kills a prophet. You depart from God's grace. You finish your race. You develop pride. If you finish your race, God will protect you. You die peaceful. You don't finish your race. You develop pride. You die in shame. You develop pride. You die in shame again. So those are the three things that makes God to end up ending the life of a prophet. So those who are so-called prophet who are saying blah, 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 you pray that you die a, a peaceful death like him. I believe myself, I salute him. He ran the race. I'm not God to judge him again. But I can see the hand of God, how he ran his ministry and how he died. So... I wanted to be to come clear and tell you what killed TB Joshua. It's not what you are telling people on social media. And no one dies, others they die without sicknesses, others they die with sickness, but death is death. So don't try to clarify things that you don't understand or that you don't know. We have, I believe you have to 
celebrate his legacy that he played his role. He's not the first one to be a prophet and die under the sun. There are many. They've been coming and dying. But because corruption that is on YouTube and all these platforms that you people, you want to make money. You don't have even fear nowadays to pick a name of someone who's late and start trying to have followers to follow you. So I'm saying you are going to see my video. Those who are, 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 are following him, who are, who are following him. There is nothing wrong. Don't listen to people. There is nothing wrong for him to be buried wherever he is buried. Because at the end, no one will worship him. That man was saying in the name of Jesus. So people, they know very well they have to worship Jesus. What would be wrong if they convince you to worship him? Then you have to leave that church. It's no longer a, a, a church of God. It's something else. But as long as they say in the name of Jesus, as he was saying, you have to stick on that church. You continue worshiping. So I'm saying to those who are making money, trying to make money through TB Joshua, he didn't die in a shame. If he departed from grace, he was going to die in a shame. We are going to read him. He's in hospitalized or he made an accident. I can call a lot of people, prophets, that died, died in a shame here. A man of them that died in a shame. Because they departed, they departed from God's grace. So I'm saying to you, if you are a Christian, you are listening to these stories. You are not yet spiritual mature. You don't know what is Christianity. Because even pre Christians, they die. Even Jesus, he died and he was resurrected. So no one will just walk and go to heaven like that. All of us, we need to go through a death for our life to be completed. He didn't die, as I'm seeing on YouTube. People are trying to make money through his name. He died because he completed his, his race. I was still uh, believing that maybe one day we'll meet one another. But God didn't agree. I accepted that. I accepted that long time ago. I even told people 2013 when he sent, he even sent me money to God. To come, to come. I said, no, I afford to come to Nigeria. But I'm running my race. I'm busy here. We'll meet one way or the other. When he called me, I told him we'll meet one way or the other. If God agree, we are going to meet. But God didn't agree. So I'm saying to you, wherever you are, if you are making money through that name, be careful you are cursing yourself. You are making money through uh, uh, this uh, YouTube talking about him, talking about how he died and a lot of things. You are destroying your lives. Many people you are under cases, especially young people. You are under a lot of cases. Not because there is witchcraft in your family. Because of this social media, you have created a lot of cases outside. Remember, God is not on Facebook or WhatsApp or YouTube. So whatsoever you post it there, you must know one way or the other that it will have an impact in your daily life. Whatever, no matter how ugly, if you are a prophet, you lie and prophesy. For you to have a lot of followers on YouTube, you must know when God is coming after you, he's not coming after Mr. YouTube. He's coming after you. He will deal with you. So those are the things that we are supposed to learn. I believe he was a man of God. We need to separate prophets and celebrates. There are prophets outside there, there are celebrates. Who wants to be celebrates? Those are two different people. As in the Bible, we're having a Balaam who was a celebrate, who was well known by doing a lot of wrong things. But he was called a prophet. So there are prophets of God, they are celebrate outside of who are like Balaam were friend of Balak. Balak was a ruler, friend of Balaam. So, when you read the numbers there in 22, that's where you discover that such people, they live under the sun. So, don't be confused and take right people and mix them with the wrong people. So, I'm saying to those young people who are busy trying to drag this man's name down. 
I cannot say let him rest in peace. He rested in peace long time ago. We understand death us. He went to be with the Lord long time ago. Continue doing what you are doing there. But I guarantee you are cursing yourselves. You are destroying your lives. So one way or the other you see, I know you see, say, ah, nah, we are going to continue this, but the, you see, when God is coming after you, he's not coming after Mr. Facebook or YouTube. He will come after you. So I'm saying to be blessed wherever you are. I wanted to explain what killed Prophet T.B. Joshua. So that one, two, three, your eyes or your ears, they may be, your, your eyes and ears, they may be open so that you may start seeing life in a different way. Touch not my anointed ones. Do no harm to my prophet. prophets. I believe you know that scripture. This simple, simple, simple scripture, Psalms 105, verse 15. God was serious there when he was saying that. I know to you, it's just a scripture. Those young men, I saw another young man, uh, he's in Nigeria. He was trying to clarify a lot of blah, 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 blah. I just watched and said, this boy is talking rubbish. He's not even a Christian. How can you invade Christianity world and start talking about our Christianity life while you don't know anything? You can hear that they don't know even scriptures. They don't know even how we worship. They just talk because they want money to buy this, uh, uh, to, to feed their ego and their, 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 their lives outside them. But I'm saying, remember, no matter what you do, as long as it's evil, God shall come after you. We pray that God mustn't rest until he restore respect in Christianity world. That has been taken out by politicians and social media people. We pray that thunder comes down and fire all those who are misbehaving, dragging the Lord of God in vain, so that they may benefit in wrong things that they are saying. I'm saying be blessed wherever you are. If you see my video, you share it so that we open other people's life. Remember Jesus loves you, so do I. May God bless you. Thank you.